Welcome back to The Outdoor Show. I'm here with Kyler Krause, performance coach and a man of many titles. Tell yes. me your list of titles. Oh, uh, certified strength and conditioning specialist, uh, one of all the coaches are. And I'm also certified by the Titleist Institute for golf as well. Okay, that's a long title. So golf season is coming up right now. And it's funny, you know, I always think to myself, golf, yeah, that doesn't take much preparation or anything like that. And then you look at a guy like Tiger Woods, yes, and you're talking yes. about serious training, yeah. not just, uh, well, physical training, but also to mental training mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as far as going. So you've got some classes coming up, and you were talking about the ideas of rotation and, and all those kinds yeah, of things. Yeah. So explain a little bit more about what that looks like when you're golfing. Well, just like any other sport, I think it's very common for people to do our skiing prep or our mountain biking prep or uh, softball prep. But I think golf is a little unique in terms of uh, it's changed over the years as Tiger Woods has really brought the fitness level into it. Right. I think for a while people were a little scared about bulking up or it didn't really translate. But now that they've done, especially Titleist has studied all the professional players yeah. and they looked at what makes the average player different than the professional player. And a lot of it is the flexibility in the upper back, the flexibility in the hips and that rotational strength too. So what we did in our group fitness class is focused on those specific aspects to really mimic the requirements of the sport in a fitness class. So we were talking a little bit earlier about separating the upper body and the mm -hmm. lower body. You know, I didn't even think about that. That happens in surfing, that happens in skiing, that happens in a lot of different sports. Tell us a little bit about how that works. Yeah, so one of the main things they looked at too was the separation. So we wanna make sure, we're in our golf posture, that we're using our shoulders and upper back to rotate. We don't wanna rotate around the spine. That creates a lot of uh, reverse spine angle is what it's called. So we want to focus on hip separation, upper back separation, and not both at the same time. Which okay. drops us right into the idea of core. That happens for every sport that you I know it. at this you point in time. It. What kind of core stuff are you going to do with these people? A lot of our core stuff is anti-rotation. So just as we mentioned too, we're rotating from the hips, and we're rotating from the upper back, but we're not bending and flexing the spine as much. So we're thinking a lot of plank holds a lot of side plank holds too, work the obliques as well too. And to really work on flexibility in the upper back, flexibility in the hips, but creating a strong, stiff core too to let that energy transfer through. So what does that do for you when you get that core strength? How does that help your golf stroke? Well, the first thing it's gonna do is keep you out of physical therapy, <laughs> all right? We <laughs> don't wanna good. create these characteristics or faults that are not only gonna steal power from you and steal yardage, right. but they're also gonna take years from you too if you injure yourself while you're playing. So we want to make sure that you're using the right joint at the right time. And that comes with that flexibility like we mentioned too, the technique of course, and also the core strength to make sure we're not collapsing under the pressure. That's awesome, man. That's exciting. And so uh, how does this translate to on the course? Like when you get out from here, what are you going to take from here out into the golf course? Well, the main thing you want to do is, is keep that flexibility and that warm up too. Right. Like see, we're not teaching the swing. But what happens is sometimes if, if you're looking at a YouTube or something, right. and you're like, hey, I want to swing like Tiger Woods, right? you're going to need the flexibility and the core strength of the power that he has too. Right. And that's what Titleist has observed too, is that the average player doesn't have those attributes. So we need to work on that flexibility, we need to work on that core. So when you go out there, and that, that endurance too as well, so when you're out there, you're not fatiguing, and you're not losing your technique, and you're able to maintain your power. Awesome, so tell us where's and when's and how can people uh, figure it out get online, do whatever they need to do to get registered yeah. for this. The easiest thing to do is Google Barton Performance, uh, get on the website, and it starts every Tuesday at 530, and it's gonna run all throughout the summer. Nice, sounds good. I'll have to work on my golf stroke. <laughs>